So in today's video, uh, Chip and I are here at uh, Bob's home garden. We did my home garden. Uh, you can find it uh, a few uh, videos back and check it out. And uh, Bob didn't want to do his own garden, so Chip and I get to do it. A uh, beautifully executed uh, garden that Bob uh, kind of embraced the ideas we've been talking about on many of our videos of uh, expanding the house out into the garden and uh, making outdoor rooms and then connecting them all together in a real useful, usable, life-improving way. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. So Bob executed this uh, garden entertaining area very um, nicely. Uh, as I said, he did uh, embrace the idea of extending the house out into the garden. In this case, the house is much higher, at a much higher elevation, which is good to discourage flooding, but sometimes good to make that transition from house to garden. And he addressed that by building this uh, background wall, which you see from inside the house, and a little courtyard there. And then that courtyard has steps on either side that step down and in to enter this um, garden entertaining area, which formerly was a lawn that didn't do too well in this area. It got chewed up and beat up by dogs and had a little too much shade to thrive. And so now it's um, a space um, encircled by um, steel edging and it's made up of um, mostly decomposed granite with a thin layer of uh, pea gravel that's firm and relatively compact. It's a very environmentally friendly paving surface because water can uh, percolate through it and it's broken up for interest with some Mexican cobble. And uh, so this entertaining area can uh, incorporate uh, tables and chairs and has some built-in seating uh, and uh, functions very well in easy access to the house and uh, is very low maintenance and easy to care for. So in our climate you almost need, uh, not almost, you need trees uh, in order to create sheet, shade and cooling and comfort and uh, also to shade the house uh, and address uh, energy needs. Um, one of the um, problems with trees, a lot of times there'll be root problems and so we're always in search of that perfect tree that lends itself to a small garden, provides beauty and, and function but doesn't uh, have root problems down the road and doesn't um, get too big for its spot. Um, Bob used a um, bold uh, planting of a really nice uh, tree. You want, might call it a patio scale tree in that it doesn't get too big for a small garden like this. Uh, the common name is Chinese fringe tree. We have um, uh, eight here and planted as really the theme of the most of the backyard and definitely the entertaining area is shaded by these double row of uh, Chinese fringe trees which is Chionanthus retusus. So it's a very compelling double row that gets your attention, spectacular with a spring bloom that looks like lace, hence the uh, uh, common name Chinese fringe tree, and uh, done very sim simply and elegantly and is an important part of this outdoor entertaining area. We call this the plumbago side yard because of the spectacular uh, plumbago blooming uh, essentially you could call it a spalliate on the fence. It's attached to the fence, creating a great screen where you don't see the fence and you all um, warm season long. This plumbago, it's a variety called Imperial Blue, blooms like crazy, grows profusely. You can just hack it back now and then. It doesn't take special uh, pruning and it just keeps blooming. The side yard's interesting because frequently it's hard to know what to do with it. As I mentioned uh, on the other point, 
uh, Bob's house is way above uh, the level. So uh, he's got an interesting treatment here where he still extends a little courtyard out uh, of the side uh, exit. He's got a shade there right now uh, blocking the eastern sun, but that's a big um, uh, door that allows you access to the side yard and then use these uh, interesting uh, planters with dwarf uh, kumquats in them which are ornamental with the uh, kumquats on them and very reliable as we've mentioned in other videos dwarf citrus are great to use in uh, containers these are uplit so they're spectacular at night there's there's three on um, concrete pedestals so we've got them at the same elevation as the elevation of the house and it makes for a nice view out of the house. So it's a very pleasant, um, low maintenance side yard that has a simple uh, concrete and again the um, decomposed granite with uh, pea gravel compacted into it as just a low cost, uh, environmentally friendly way of making a paving surface and still uh, a little bit interesting visually. So we're calling this our water feature space in Fresno in the summer. We're here on a late August day, it's going to be about 100. We need all the cooling we can get. In this case, it's psychological cooling. You can hear the sound of uh, this uh, water feature. Bob uh, commissioned a local artist to build these little guys that are uh, spewing the water to design and build them. And so it makes a really uh, delightful little uh, water feature that he has on most of the time. And from this uh, space, you know, again, this is like another outdoor room. This one uh, all focused around the water feature. And from this space, you can get a real good view of all the planting and, um, and the different spaces that uh, we've already covered. Um, and one of the things you notice uh, when you look at the garden from a perspective like this is very um, unified kind of bold planting where you don't use one of this and one of that, but you use plants in massing to show off whatever it is they do spectacularly. And uh, in many cases, uh, it's texture or bloom or whatever. And if you have a whole mass of them, that's better displayed uh, in a mass than um, by individual plants that could maybe give you a headache if you tried to take that in all in a garden like this. So this garden is very is planted in a unified simple way with a tree canopy that we covered that's um, uh, axial and simple and bold and then these separate spaces including our beautiful um, fountain uh, garden here or water feature garden and uh, all in all it adds up to a simple uh, attractive usable and life improving uh, garden. Hey there friends, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. If you enjoyed this video, have any questions, or just wanna say hi, let us know in the comments below. Wanna learn more about our products? Then head over to our website, www.johnandbobs.com.